What's going on? With the coming back with another one. Let's get it. We're gonna talk some boxing. Oh, we got a good weekend. Got some good fights coming up. Yeah, it's Javante Tank Davis. You know, versus Frank the Ghost Martin, lightweight. You got David Benavidez, the Mexican monster, making his debut at light heavyweight against Alexander Vosnick. Oh, we got some good fights. We have some good fights this weekend. And, you know, I got to give my breakdown, my prediction. It's a great card. Great card. Got Gary Artoon Russell as well on this card. You know, good to see him back in the ring. But definitely got to give my breakdown, my prediction. You know, I like Tank Davis. Frank Martin, he's an athletic fighter. You know, I'll just say probably the most athletic fighter Javante Tank Davis has fought. He's typically fighting flat-footed guys, you know, guys with slow feet. You know, so Javante Tank Davis, he will have a test in the aspect of Frank Martin being athletic, you know, give him different looks, you know, moving around the ring, make Tank Davis really work. Frank Martin, he's 5'8", he's a southpaw, just like Javante Tank Davis. So these guys also have a sparring history, you know, these two guys sparred together. Tank Davis, he kept it real, he said, Frank Martin, he caught me. He said he was rushing in, he caught me. So these guys have a sparring history and light heavyweight. Oh, great fight between David Benavidez and Alexander Vosnick. And this is no walk in the park for David Benavidez. Alexander Vosnick, oh, he gave Arthur Betterbeef all he can handle. He gave him all he can handle before he got stopped in the 10th round. So it's going to be a good fight. Going to be a great test for David Benavidez. His first fight, you know, at light heavyweight. You know, so he has to get adjusted. So this would be no walk in the park, but got to get my breakdown first with, you know, Tank Davis versus Frank Martin. And like I say, Tank Davis, he's used to typically fight flat-footed guys, guys that have slow feet. So this will be a great test for him as far as, you know, from an athletic standpoint. Let's just say Tank, last past few fights we fight. Ryan Garcia is pretty flat-footed. Hector Luis Garcia, he's slow feet. He doesn't have the best feet either, you know. So let's be real. Leo Santa Cruz, probably Tank Davis' best win if we want to be real as far as, you know, where people held Leo Santa Cruz. So that's probably his best win. Ryan Garcia, his best win just as far as from a popularity standpoint. But Leo Santa Cruz is probably Tank Davis' best win, you know. And he's also... You know, flat-footed, slow feet. So this will be a great test for Tank Davis from an athletic standpoint. I feel like Frank Martin, he's one of those guys, I don't think he'll get knocked out. He's one of those, he's so athletic, he can survive. He played multiple sports, football, basketball. He's always been, you know, the best athlete. So Frank Martin, he put me in the mind of, you know, one of those boxers that he'll, he'll find a way to survive, you know, by moving around, running around, hanging on. So I feel like Tank Davis, he will, you know, win this fight on points because I don't think he'll be able to, let's just say, catch Frank Martin. You know, they'll, they'll be exchanging. I feel like Frank Martin will come to fight. But I feel like Tank, who has 29 wins and 27 KOs, that KO rate is high. I get it. But Frank Martin is just one of those matchups where I feel like he's so athletic. He's going to be moving around. It's going to be hard for Tank to really catch him like he wants to. They'll have some good exchanges. You know, both of these guys being southpaws and they both, you know, spar. They have a sparring history. So I feel like it'll be great because they know each other. You know, they know each other's moves. They know what they want to do in the ring. So it'll be a chess match. It will. And I feel like Tank will. We'll see Tank be more active, like moving, trying to close the distance than we typically see Tank. You know, Tank... He likes to fight defensive at times, you know. He will press forward. Tank definitely will press forward. But I feel like he really is going to have to because of the style Frank Martin will present and how Frank Martin will be moving around the ring, you know. Because he fought Pitbull Cruz, Tank, and Pitbull came forward the entire fight. And Tank showed that he could fight on the back foot as well in that fight. He showed a different style that he could fight on the back foot. Because Tank, we know he can come forward and, and get you out of there. We know that. But against Pitbull, more aggressive fighter, he showed that he can fight on the back foot as well. You know, so Tank has showed different styles 
And we got to give Tank more credit for his actual, you know, IQ in the ring, you know, his style, things like that. I don't like his competition either. Let's be real. But we got to give him competition for, I mean, credit for his, you know, his skill set, his IQ, you know, ring generalship, things like that. We have to give him credit for that. We do. So I feel like he will win this fight on points. I do. I don't think Frank Martin is battle tested enough. I don't think he's fought enough, you know, tough opponents where we can really gauge how good Frank Martin is. But I feel like he's going to be athletic and he's going to move around the ring. He's going to exchange. It's going to be a fight. But if he senses that he's going to get hurt, we're going to see him on the bicycle. Frank Martin. That's my opinion. That's what I think will happen when when he senses that Tank is on the verge of maybe hurt him or hit him with some good shots. We'll see Frank Martin start to, you know, retreat and move around and start to use the ring. But he won't get knocked out. And let me get my breakdown for David Benavidez and Alexander Vosnik. This will be a tough fight. Like I said, Vosnik gave Arda Better Beef everything he can handle before he got stopped in the 10th round. He was exchanging with Better Beef. He came to fight. And David Benavidez, this is his first fight at, you know, light heavyweight. I really don't know what to expect. I know he's going to fight. Benavidez is going to come prepared. He's going to let his hands go. That's what I do know. And I feel like this will be a fight that we'd be like, shit, I didn't know this was going to be a great fight. This this was going to be Bene, one of Benavidez's toughest fights, in my opinion. You know, he looked great in his last few fights against Caleb Plant. Demetrius Andre stopped Andre, and he would have stopped Caleb Plant if it wasn't for Kenny Bayless. Let's be real. Kenny Bayless helped Caleb Plant a lot, let him buy time, let him hold, all type of things. But we want to be real. This is going to be a, a, a tough fight for Benavidez because we've never seen him at this weight. We want to be real. We've only seen him at 168. He's now fighting at 175, so it's going to be a tough fight. And Vasnik, he, he will come to fight. He's he's rangy. He's long. So this won't be a, a fight where Benavidez just has the reach advantage from, you know, from such, you know, from the distance. So this is going to be a tough fight. I think Benavidez will find a way. He will prevail. But I don't, I don't think he'll knock Vasnik out. I think he can get a decision. I think he can get a decision, but I don't know if he can knock Vosnick out. Or it better be, he had to, you know, make Vosnick come to him and he, you know, start to punish Vosnick and Vosnick start to retreat. And that's when the Terminator, as Art of Bitter Beef is, start to come forward and he stopped Vosnick. Hit him with some some big shots when they start to exchange. Some big shots, some upper, uppercuts, some overhand rights, overhand lefts. Oh, it was some great exchanges in that fight, and he stopped Alexander Vosnik. He did, and I think Benavidez will find a way. He's a champion, you know, his first fight at 175. We don't really know. This is going to be a great fight, and I feel like this may steal the steal the card. Like, we may say, damn, this should have been the main event. You know, I feel like we may say that. This should have been the main event. I feel like this is going to be a great fight, and I feel like Benavidez will find a way to prevail. He will. He's a champion, you know. This is what he does. So but let me know what y'all think. My breakdown. Got a big weekend. Like I say, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. Got Tank Davis, Frank Martin, David Benavidez, Alexander Flosny. Got Gary Russell. You know, he's on the card as well. It's good to see him back in the ring. So talk some boxing. Let me know what y'all think, though. Drop some down in the comments. Keep the fire coming. Keep it rolling. Best way you can help and share the video. If it's entertaining, hit that cash app. We're going to knock it out. Let's get it.